And then we add a liter of heavy creme. Et voila! Steak tartare avec le vomi du yak au fromage. <laughs> Incroyable! This Madame Frappe, she is a genius, no? Mm, if only she were not so tiny. What's she gonna do with that meat? Deep fry it? Uh, Dad, steak tartare's supposed to be uncooked. Huh? What kind of idiot eats raw meat? Monsieur Bill, Madame Frappe may be small, but she is no idiot. Perhaps you should apologize. How's about I make us all a couple of blubber burgers instead? Bill, I really think you should apologize. Oh, yeah? Well, you know what I think of Madame Crappé and her cuisine. Oh, look at me. I'm the French cook. <laughs> da 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 cook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There once was a Frenchman, Yvonne was his name. Exploring new worlds, he dreamed was his fame. But reading a map was not his forte. So poor Yvonne was soon cast away. Yvonne, Yvonne, how do you call? Sailing the stormy seas. Yvonne, how do you call? No one could hear his plea. He soon found himself in a bit of a pickle. The frigid North Seas proved more than fickle. Yvonne's navigation would soon cost a price. He was knocked overboard and turned into ice. Yvonne, how the Yukon hapless volunteer. Yvonne, how the Yukon frozen for hundreds of years. Three hundred years passed and with some irony. His he was thought out by much need to be. Yvonne claimed the land for his country's glory. And, and that's the start of Yvonne's story. Yvonne, how the Yukon by ICCs, the bomb of the Yukon. Deep frosted for you and for me. Hmm, let's see. I'd like more crackers, a tray of condiments, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, after dinner mints, toothpicks, napkins, and some water. But that stuff's all free. Exactly, my good man. And be quick about it. And toss it in a few breadsticks while you's around. Duke, I need money. I can't live on what Big Mary's been giving me. Would you quit sniveling? There are plenty of opportunities for making money. Why, there's probably one staring you in the face right now. Exciting career opportunities awaits you. Picks from our big money list. Assistant dental equipment cleaner. Yachit hoser downer. Escargot farming. Duke, what's a yachit? It is a seagoing vessel used for cruising or racing. And if you don't know by now, you'll never be able to afford one. But this item here, escargot farming, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be the first in town to undertake such a venture. Then people would have to buy their escargots from us, and we'd become gazillionaires! I cannot send these foods to my stomach. Hello? Excusez-moi, I must speak to the chef right away. Dad? What's wrong? Uh, this muskrat tip, uh, it is certainly not the way Madame Frappe would serve it. Don't you, I miss him? Ivan, quit complaining. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. But it would be much easier for you to change. Please, allow me to offer a useful tip from a loyal customer. You must come closer. Closer still. And better food! Oh, man. Uh, you know, Dad, there has been a lot of complaints about the food lately. So what's your point? Have you ever thought about changing the menu? Are you crazy? The Mad Cossack is the most popular place in town. Dad. It's the only place in town. That's right. And we've been in business a long time, so why mess with success, huh? Uh, he just isn't willing to change. Tell me, it is like the fall of the Roman Empire. First comes a decline in the cuisine, then all that other stuff. 
When I think back to all the wonderful things I cooked for King Louis. <laughs> oh, you need them cook me. <laughs> Never I'll speak while you are cooking. We your majesty. <laughs> Yvonne, you are a fine chef. Oh, he said Yvonne is a fine chef. Take an object on the royal trouser seat. Remove it immediately. Oh, my stomach. She is not well. And so you see, dummy, we can never allow the quality of cooking to fall below such kingly standards again. Do you understand? Never! Yeah, okay, sure, never. Yes, finally, our Escargo farming starter kit has arrived. So, Lax, where's all the S's? I beg your pardon? The S's! It's an Escargo, ain't it? You idiot! Escargo are snails! We're getting into the snail business! What the heck are we gonna do with snails? Them are snails? I think I'm gonna hurl! Tommy, this is not food. Shh. Yvonne, my dad's in kind of a bad mood. I would not be here if I had options. This is the third dish he's made for you. I need food! It's braised spleen of muskox, our very best item. But, but, but where is the presentation? The attention to detail. All right, where is that French punk? <laughs> good nature, Bill. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah? Well, good natured Bill is quickly turning into the Bill you don't want to mess with. I wish only to lift this establishment up to my kingly standard. One more grape and you're out of here. Got it? One itchy little suggestion. No. You see. Yvonne. It's just that. Not a word. The muskox, she is a little overdone. Let's fight! Then done it! Yvonne Ducharme, you are banned from the Mad Cossack Grill forever! Dick, I ain't never been a rancher. Big Mary'd be so proud! Oh, I hope these little ragamuffins stay alive long enough so we can eat them. Good heavens! This one's frozen solid! Don't worry, I'll take care of it. There, that ought to do it. Where the heck is everybody? What the? Mesdames et messieurs, I have owned du charme, having worn out my welcome at the substandard <coughs> Mad Cossack Grill, proudly presents Appier Mucklack's newest restaurant, La Crapperie Royal! Oh, le, I think I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Not so fast. Yvon cooks for one person and one person only, for such is the way in France. Me, fight me! I shall pick someone at random. Watch out, move along, take it easy, stay back, nothing to see here. Ow! Ow? <laughs> Are you crazy? You are the winner! Come, enjoy Yvonne's culinary masterpieces! <laughs> Madame. Prepare for heaven. It was magnificent. 
My next creation will require the skills of two highly trained assistants. Take us! Yeah, we're good for nothing. <laughs> Who the heck would want to eat food made by Ivan? Dad, never underestimate the value of that oh-so-French mystique. The only mystique that little French freak has is why somebody hasn't clobbered him. Ow! <coughs> what did you do that for? for? French tradition. Now you are ready to cook. The dish we must prepare is the Greer Croque Flambe avec Crème de la Cherry Compote à la derrière de King Louis. Wow! Do not speak while in the kitchen! Ah, are you crazy? Ah. No man uses such a tiny blade to cut meat. Do you understand? No man! Yeah, sure, okay, no man. And do not speak in the kitchen! Sacre bleu! Sir, it is an honor to be whacked. Ow! All right, I forgot. <laughs> no speaking in the... Ow! First, you let the fumes of the desert bomb waft skyward like a gentle breeze at sunset. Then, you light it, being ever so careful. Wow! Pitch their teeth in a French restaurant. Get out! <laughs> this would go really well with ketchup. Ah! <laughs> ketchup in a French restaurant? Get out! You eat like a squirrel. Get out! Get out! Get the out! Get 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 the out! Get out! Get out! That does it! La Capri Royale is closing its doors forever! Until you people appreciate the fine dining. <laughs> Just kidding. Who is next? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Man, Yvonne's lineup keeps getting longer, Dad. Aren't you worried? Nope. Time for a progress report. Yo, Pilgrim, let's see if them little doggies is ready to harvest. Dude, what's happening? Well, it must be those cheap second-hand sun lamps giving off radiation. But me and Big Mary used them last winter, and we never had no problem. <laughs> At least not much. Good heavens, he's not letting me turn it off. <laughs> Quiet! You are lucky that Yvonne allows more than one of you to eat here. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have any escargot? I just love escargot. And the French love that woman who loves escargot. Oh! Garçon! Escargo! You mean, like, one of these? <laughs> no escargo! 
How can we have no escargot? We must have escargot! Escargot for sale. Thanks, free range. Incroyable! I will take whatever you have. We serve fun at Bill's household food. <laughs> hey, hope you're having a good time out there. Remember, food's just a part of what we do. There's also sing-alongs, dances, magic tricks, puppets for the kids. Ooh, ole. Dad? Forget it. I can't take it anymore. That weasel Yvonne has taken away all my business. Don't worry, we'll think of something. At least the bankers aren't breaking down the doors yet. Uh, excuse me, do you know where I can find Le Crabberie Royale? Oh, and by the way, I've got a court order to close down the Mad Cossack Grill for back payments. No, oh, this is so exciting. We have orders from as far away as Shiver Me Timbers and Frost Bottom Falls. Uh, ah, Duke. These here animals is gonna be our ticket to easy living. Ah! Frankie, shot snails, walk for your laps! Today on Latrina Live, men who have worked all their lives and are now unemployed, should they sit around the house in dirty t-shirts, scratching their bellies, or should they do something about it? Hmm, good question. Hey, Dad. What'd you do all day? Oh, little of this, little of that. You mean a little of nothing? Well, I've been working all day scrubbing dishes at La Crapperie Royale. Hey, somebody's got a hold of the fort. Okay, Dad, ever since the Mad Cossack closed down, you haven't done anything. Don't you worry, boy. I got lots of good ideas for making money. Underwater welding surgeon, outer space astronaut lawyer type guy, Kenyan marathon runner, escargot farmer, Oh, forget that one. It did never work. Ugh, da -da. Oh, ancient spirits! What the heck do I do now? Would you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep, huh? Great spirit, I may have blown it. Tell me what to do. First, quit your blubbering. And second, don't let that idiot Yvonne get the better of you. You gotta fight back, boy. This is capitalism. Get competitive. And try losing a little weight while you're at it, huh? Uh, Dad? What's going on? I'm having dinner at La Crapperie Royale. If you can't lick them, join them, right? Oh, le. Where'd you get these giant escargots? Uh, monsieur, whoever you are, a French chef uh, divulges one thing and one thing only. Surprise. I hope you ain't feeding them chemicals or nothing. Of course not, my good man. That would be unethical. And unhealthy. Yeah, which is why we's using radiation. <laughs> Ban giant snails. Ban giant snails. No more dangerous appetizers. Ah, excuse me, Moabel, but there is nothing wrong with my escargot. How come they're so big then? Well, uh, uh, some things are just prone to largeness. You mean some things are just prone to high levels of radiation? which you have been using in a futile attempt to convince people in this town that you're something other than a mediocre cook. <laughs> ha! Insult me and you insult King Louis! Monsieur Bill, I challenge you to a breakfast cook-off tomorrow at dawn! Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> B, 
Big Mary, ready to judge? What a rip! Jacks and whale oil, muskrat links on the side, possum juice, and pork rinds. Yvonne's dish, one lone sprig of parsley, oh, grand ham, daring yet precocious with overtones of playfulness. Math's secret ingredient is love. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like cardboard. Hmm, presentation pedestrian at best. Yet interesting. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what Mama's been missing! My secret ingredient is grease. New Tukyuk's the winner! Long live Bill! Duke, what do you think people is gonna do to us for selling them radiation-type escargot? Oh, who cares about that? I just want to know what happened to those gigantic snails. Ah, Escarzilla attacks Tokyo. Walk for your life. <laughs> 